The Bears have a chance to win back to back games for the first time in two seasons when they head west for Sunday's matchup under the bright lights of primetime. I'm Marshall Harris and this is three things to watch when the two and five Bears take on the two and four Chargers in L.A. Thing number one should come as no surprise. It is Tyson Bajan, who's making his second straight start as Justin Fields continues to recover from that dislocated thumb. The big question now, after leading a win over the Raiders, will the Bears open up the playbook after we saw them pull Bajan for Nathan Peterman for a Hail Mary just before halftime Sunday? Now, Bajan says he can make any throw the offense requires. Time for the Bears to let him prove it. The second thing to watch will be Bears cornerback Jalen Johnson. He's in the final year of his rookie deal, and he has not been shy about wanting to get paid, whether it's here or somewhere else. Since the game's in L.A., think of it as a final screen test before the Bears decide whether or not to trade him before Tuesday's Halloween deadline. He'll definitely be looking to duplicate last week's two interception performance against the likes of Justin Herbert and big play receiver Keenan Allen. And speaking of trades, our final thing to watch, former Bear Khalil Mack, just for fun. He was a pro bowler last season, and while he's tied for fourth in the league with seven sacks, he got six of those in just one game. Tyson Bajan has been quick to get rid of the ball. He was only sacked once last week. But the Chargers are tied for seventh in the league with 22 sacks in six games. So we'll see if they can keep a clean pocket in back-to-back -back weeks. Oh, and one more note, the Chargers, they're used to playing in close games. They've averaged a 5.5 margin in both their two wins and their four losses. That's three things to watch when the Bears try to improve to 3-5 and five this week.